driven by the will of His Majesty the King Mohammed VI and experience and know-how of its companies, the Moroccan economy has turned to the southern countries. In a few years, Morocco became the second African investor on the continent and the second most attractive market in Africa, an economic and social development model based on the public-private partnership, a multi-sectoral expertise, an acceleration industrial plan for 2014-2020 and a South-South corporation efficiently. Today, a lot of Moroccan companies are installed abroad in the sectors of water and electrical, agri-food, telecom, high-tech or engineering. And the main Moroccan banks are present in 19 African countries. First producer and exporter of phosphate, Morocco has more than 50% of global phosphate reserves. For nearly a century, one company manages this priceless mineral resource, the OCP Group. OCP has a special place in Morocco's industrial history as the leading global exporter of phosphate ore, a market leader in phosphate acid and a major player in solid fertilizers. An industrial strategy has driven its continued growth and leadership bolstered by continued strengthening of production processes and technology by the creation of ambitious and sustainable partnerships and supported by prudent financial policy. A development based on three pillars economic leadership, environmental stewardship and social responsibility. The OCP Group is proud to help feed the world's growing population by supplying the elements essential for soil fertility and plant growth. In Morocco, OCP has three mining sites, two industrial sites, one slurry pipeline, four ports and 23,000 employees. OCP has a worldwide presence with numerous representative offices and 160 client countries in five continents. Today, OCP has over 90 years experience in the mining industry and over 45 years in the chemical industry. Since 2008, OCP Group is driven by a vision to 2025 by increasing production capacity, to double the mining's production capacity, to triple the fertilizer's production capacity, and a new strategy focusing on mega projects like the largest phosphate washing plant in the world at Khodibga and Jov's Phosphate Hub, the most important platform of fertilizer production in the world. OCP ensures the preservation of the environment by investing in the transformation of all its industrial sites in water and energy savings. Main component fertilizers phosphorus comes from the phosphate ore. Phosphate ore is first sent to upgrading units, then the phosphate goes through the washing plant where it is wet. Phosphate pulp is transported by the slurry pipe to the processing plants. It's processed to be converted into phosphoric acid or fertilizer. Phosphoric acid is produced from original ore and sulfuric acid. Simple, complex or high performance, phosphate fertilizers are the result of phosphoric acid transformation. Bulk or packed, raw or processed into fertilizers phosphate but also phosphoric and sulfuric acids needed to produce them are sent by ship all over the world. As a major global player in agriculture, OCP is committed to sustainable agriculture by providing fertilizing solutions backed up by field actions for farmers. As an African company, OCP is committed to agricultural development across the continent by building fertilizer plants locally. Today, OCP offers 42 different kinds of fertilizer, specially adapted to the soils and the needs of African agriculture. OCP's ongoing commitment to contributing to the emergence of a flourishing African agriculture. For a global sustainable development for future generations, Today, Morocco and OCP Group are proud to work with Ethiopia in a South-South Corporation for development of economy and agriculture. 
With over 95 million inhabitants, Ethiopia is a huge market, the largest in the region. Economic expansion of around 10% over the past five years has been facilitated by improved infrastructure and more effective mining and farming techniques. Agriculture accounts for almost 41% of GDP, 80% of exports and 70% of the labor force. The government is currently implementing the second phase of its growth and transformation plan. This plan aims to continue improvements in physical infrastructure through public investment projects and transform the country into a manufacturing hub. Exports are almost entirely agricultural commodities with coffee, livestock, grains, vegetables, fruits and flowers. Ethiopia has the natural resources needed for the project with its potash deposits in the north and natural gas in the south. The gas pipeline project supplies the production units and the new railway line will transport imported raw materials from Morocco. Landlocked country, Ethiopia transits 85% of its imports and exports via the ports of the Republic of Djibouti. Gateway to Africa Djibouti has a strategic position on the Horn of Africa. The small republic is a crossroads on the busiest maritime route in the world. Its political stability has allowed it to attract investment to create or updating ports and commercial or industrial free zones. Djibouti also develops its service sector and is positioned as a leader in the region. The new multi-purpose port of Dorale offers all the necessary facilities for our transit and storage unit of raw products, phosphoric and sulfuric acids and potash. After unloading, the products will be stored and on demand, sent to the railway freight terminal. Then they are transported by train to Diridawa in a few hours. Located in the eastern part of Ethiopia, 515 kilometers east of Addis Ababa. Dirdawa is the second most populated urban center in the country. Diridawa Industrial Park is being developed as an integrated zone on the model of an international special economic zone and will be easily accessible from Djibouti by road and train. Project includes two ammonium plants, two urea plants, two NPS, NPK plants, large storage capacities for raw and final products. Nitrogen is the main component of the chlorophyll, essential to photosynthesis and crop development. Produced with natural gas, ammonia is an essential chemical element for the production of urea but also for complex fertilizers such as NPK and NPS. It is the ammonia that after processing can enrich the soil and make nitrogen directly assimilated by plants. Phosphorus is a quarter of the nutrients needed by plants and the main component of cell membranes, energy source, root development and plant growth. Potassium promotes growth, it reinforces the rigidity of the stalk. It facilitates nutrients transport and disease resistant. NPK fertilizers provide key primary and secondary nutrients to soils and crops. These complex fertilizers increase agricultural yields. In 2050, the planet will have 9 billion people. To feed them, we need to increase agricultural production by 77%. For that, OCP promotes best practices in agriculture through rational soil fertilization. 